Did you know that the top mutual funds in India in the IT sector space have given CAGR returns of more than 40% in the last one year and more than 30% CAGR returns in the last five years? In this video, I am going to discuss those top mutual funds. So don't miss out on today's video. And also friends, if you are watching this, coming to this YouTube channel for the first time, my name is Karthik. I am a chartered accountant by profession and a YouTuber by passion and we release new videos every week on various topics under finance, commerce, etc. So do check out our channel and with that, let us dive into today's topic. So friends, before going into the mutual funds, let us know a little bit, you know, some important information about the Indian IT sector. Okay. So if you see friends, the Indian IT sector, you know, in the financial year 2021, the size of IT sector stood at $194 billion, which is rupees 14.55 lakh crores. Okay. And the Indian IT industry now accounts for 8% of India's GDP and it employs 45 lakh people approximately. Okay. And as per the RBI's research report in September 2021, India's software exports in the year financial year 2021 stood at $148 billion which was more than Saudi Arabia's oil revenue in that year, which was only $145 billion. Okay, so such is the power of India's IT sector, which has the largest base of quality IT people in the world. And, and also, whenever you would interact with people, friends, right, you would have noticed that you ask them a question that where do you work, which company, they would have mostly said IT. And they will be, you know, either working in TCS, Wipro, Infosys or some other IT companies. So basically, IT has become indispensable in today's world. Money is there in the IT, future job is only there in the IT and with cloud computing, AI, with all those things coming into the picture, everything is going to become digital. All sectors, whether it is banking, manufacturing, sports, any field for that matter, IT is very, very important in today's scenario. Hence, I believe that mutual funds in this sector can give you very, very good returns. Okay, so with that, let us now go into the mutual funds to discuss. So for today's analysis, friends, I have taken the top four mutual funds, which are ICICI Prudential Technology Fund, SBI Technology Opportunities Fund, Tata Digital Fund, Aditya Birla Sun Life Digital India Fund. Okay, so these are the four mutual funds which I am going to discuss today. And first, let us look at the returns which they have given over the last one year, one year, three year and five years. And these returns are as on 1st April 2022. Okay, so as on that date for the last one year, three year and five years. So if you see ICICI has given 49% returns for the last one year, 41% returns for the last three years, 33% returns for the last five years. Then if you see SBI, SBI mutual fund has given 44% for the last one year, 35% for the last three years, 28% for the last five years. Then let us look at the Tata Digital Fund, which has given 49, 39, 35% returns for last one, three and five years. And then Aditya Birla has given 43, 38 and 33% returns again for last one, three and five years. So if you see very high returns, amazing returns, great. It is a gold mine for you know making good wealth, you know, from this mutual funds, which are into IT sector. Okay. So now let us look at the expense ratio of these mutual funds, friends. Okay. So ICICI has 0.8 percentage, you know, uh, in the expense ratio. SBI has 0.91 percentage. Tata has 0.35 percentage. Aditya Birla has 0.75 percentage. Okay, so expense ratio is very low and it is very much, you know, within the you know range and very small also. And now let us look at the assets under management. That is what are all the, you know, value of all the shares in which, you know, the, these mutual funds have invested. AUM, assets under management. For ICICI, it is 8,184 crores. SBI is 2,356 crores. Tata is 5,158 crores and Aitya Birla is 3,036 crores. Okay, so very good fund. These are, you know, high value mutual funds. And now let us look at the very important thing, NAV, net asset value. You know, what is the per unit value of these mutual funds? 
and this NAV is as on 8th of April 2022 Friday okay so for ICICI the NAV is 172 rupees SBI is 167 Tata is 42 Aditya Birla is 148 okay friends and all these mutual funds okay which is SBI ICICI uh, Aditya Birla were launched in the year 2013 January 2013 except for Tata which was launched in December 2015 okay and if you see the minimum amount of investment to be made in this mutual fund is only 5000 rupees for ICICI SBI and Tata 5000 rupees minimum investment and for Aditya Bidla it is only 1000 rupees minimum investment is very very small very much affordable for everyone and after that you can invest even 1 rupee 100 rupees also okay and so if you see friends there is no lock-in period also in all these mutual funds so you can invest money today withdraw tomorrow after one month one year six months five years ten years there is no lock-in period which is again a very good sign but there is an exit load uh, if you withdraw your money within 15 to 30 days if you withdraw you will be charged 0.25 percentage to one percentage of the amount okay of your you know nav will be charged and you can see for the various mutual funds i have given in the screen you can check the exit load which is also very small okay so overall these are the top mutual funds friends given very good returns you know in the last you know this five years period if you see and hence i am very much bullish on this mutual funds so friends let us now look at the sector allocation in which these mutual funds have invested Okay, so predominantly, majoritarily, it is only IT sector, but there are certain other sectors also and let us look at the exact percentage. Okay, so if you see ICICI mutual fund has invested 74% in IT sector, 8% in foreign securities. What are these foreign securities? Basically US listed companies such as Microsoft, Google, Apple, Facebook, right? So those, you know, sectors, foreign US listed companies, 8% in there. 8% in communication sector, you know, which includes stocks like Airtel, Tata Communications, etc. And 11% in other sectors, which includes, you know, various other sectors like e-commerce, IT enabled services, some RBI bonds, etc. Right. So that is 11%. Then if you look at the Tata Digital Fund, it has invested 77% in IT, 7% in foreign securities, 8% in communication and 8% is others. Okay, then if you see SBI has invested 61% in IT, 20% in foreign and 9% in communication sector and 10% is others. And then finally, Aita Birla has invested 75% in IT, 5% in foreign securities, 9% in communication sector and 12% in other sectors. Okay. Now let us look at the top companies in which these mutual funds have invested. That is what are the companies, the shares of which these mutual funds have bought and having in their portfolio. If you see ICICI mutual fund has invested 32% in Infosys, 10% in HCL, 9% in Tech Mahindra, 8% in Wipro, 5% in TCS, 6% in Airtel, which totally comes to 69% and the balance 31 percentage in other companies so other companies include other it companies such as mindetry persistent systems route mobile you know lnt infotech all other companies in which the you know the portfolio value is only one percentage two percentage one and a half percentage right so there are a lot of other companies also i am not discussing those others category i want to tell you in this video the top company holdings which these mutual funds have invested but i have given the links in the description wherein you can go and check the list of all the companies in which these mutual funds have invested okay so do check out those links if you want to know the list of all the companies in which these mutual funds have invested but as of now for the video let us look at the top holdings so if you see the tata digital fund has invested 23 percentage in infosys 8% in HCL, 7% in Tech Mahindra, 3% in Wipro, 10% in TCS, 5% in Airtel and which totally comes to 57%, 43% is other companies, other IT companies. Okay. So let us now look at SBI which has invested 24% in Infosys, 8% in HCL, 5% in Tech Mahindra, 7% in Wipro and then 8% age in TCS, 5% age in Airtel 
and 8% it has invested in Alphabet, the parent company of the Google, which totally comes to 67, balance 33 percentages, other companies, which are less than, you know, 3, 4 or 2, 3 percentages. And if you see Aitya Birla, which has invested 20 percentage in Infosys, 10 in HCL, 8 in Tech Mahindra, 6 in Wipro, 10 in TCS, 5 in Airtel, totally 60, 40 percentage is other holdings. Okay, friends, so this will give you a good idea, you know, how these mutual funds have invested in the top companies in India. And with that, let us now, uh, so for the conclusion, friends, you know, I would like to tell you that I am very much bullish on the IT theme and the IT sector. And hence, I am investing in this sector through mutual funds instead of directly investing through shares because here by investing in one mutual fund, I can get a basket of all the IT companies, right, in one basket which is not possible for directly investing in shares and also buying one share of any IT company for that matter small cap, mid cap, large cap is very costly. It is 1000, 1500, 2000 rupees and you cannot get much quantities also but here if you see NAV is very less okay of all the mutual funds okay and by investing in this you can get a basket of all the companies in the IT sector. So I am personally investing in Tata Digital India fund and you can also choose the fund which is the best you know suitable for you and then decide accordingly and uh, with that you can invest in this particular sector so i hope friends you found out this video useful and informative if yes then do share it with your friends so that and also help them to grow their money faster and with that we come to the end of this video and i will see you all in the next video until then this is cs karthik signing off thank you namaste save soil let's make it happen